Half a million men await the signal to cross the English Channel. This is their story, the story of the best Joes the world ever knew, and a love that flamed between the hellfire and the shellfire of that fateful day. D-Day, the 6th of June. Brad, uh, are we really sinners just by being in love? You're probably the most innocent, the most beautiful sinner in the whole wide war. It was a time to remember and a time to forget that he was married, that she was engaged to another man. It was a time to live, here and now. You think that I'm pure and angel-like because I'm English and my voice is crisp and my father's a brigadier, but I'm not pure and angel-like. And I thought I'd be safe from you because you're a stranger and far removed from John and his world and everything that he stands for. Look, I, I won't make a false move, I swear it. Now that I know it's that way or nothing. Please go, Brad. You're not a stranger anymore. Okay. Suppose you stay this way. Friends. You imagine for one second your wife thinks you're going to be faithful the whole of the war? I love you. I'll come back. Oh, but I will. I swear it. I'm never going to give you up. We've got some hard knocks to take. But if we're bold to start with, more of us will be alive when it's all over. <laughs> 